Welcome to day four of the Captain's Blog. You join us here, just left our moorings at Acal where we overnighted at the Bridge Inn and had a wonderful meal. And um, we're now heading off um, in a little bit of a convoy. Cheshire Cat's in front of us and behind us is Broad Ambition um, to Potter Hyam where we're going to visit uh, the delights of Latham's, or the farms, if you remember who's gone in there and bought something for 99p or less that you didn't know you wanted when you first went in there. Have a little look around Potheim, Herbert Woods, the bridge and so on and so forth. Then we'll leave there and head up the river ramp so I can show Sheila around and some of the sites up that very pretty river as you know. Probably get as far as Barton Broad um, but tonight we need to be within sort of an hour or so of, of Roxham to make uh, her departure tomorrow less fraught and you know not, not a big long journey in the morning so it is once again however an absolutely glorious morning as you can see it's uh, not far gone 9 a.m. and uh, the sun has burnt all the mist off that was around this morning and the clouds are starting to burn off too it looks a bit like a summer's day except we're in March so more as it happens. So we continue our progress. So we're now on the River Thurn, just past Thurn Dyke and heading towards Potter Hyam. And the day just continues to get better. Unfortunately, my throat's a bit funny. So I don't know if that's the herald of a, another time where I'm going to be on a boat and have a, a cold. Hope not. Um, so that's uh, really the update for now. Just chilling out, cruising along and um, enjoying the scenery and um, in the company of Broad Ambition and Cheshire Cat. And um, of course the younger generation, it's all about the Facebook Messenger and posting pictures of the boat and where are we and what's going on no. and even me to make sure we stay on course so um, no it's a lovely time and um, it's a bonus as well as I've mentioned before of having a, a MiFi unit on board um, I've got a three MiFi unit which creates a Wi-Fi zone on the on the boat so then you can just connect your devices to that and um, use that data connection um, which is great for me because I'm with O2 and there is no 3G service or signal here yet there is wonderful 3 reception so um, you just use the Wi-Fi as if you were at home so it won't be too much longer and we'll be passing Womack Dyke which leads to Womack Water on our left hand side and then after that we'll be heading off into the chalet ville that is Potterheim as it happens. So as you can see we're coming into what I call the outskirts of Bodahayam past the many chalet bungalows here and it really is I think lovely. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, well, it was a uh, shoulder, but um, they, w when she just had the uh, operation done, they were staying in a chalet just up here on the left. That's just what I was thinking of it. <clears throat> Which was, uh, I think you can still hire it through Herbert Woods, but they actually sold it to someone else who's like using Herbert Woods as the agent and the uh, price went up after they sold it. No, she's all right, it's like fully recovered. She's just a little bit nervous of, you know, boats now getting on and off, takes a lot more care and stuff.
Um, I'm going to turn around to come in behind you, uh, Cheshire Cat. Yeah, that's right. Broad ambition taking in uh, the build up to Potheim Bridge. Stand by. You're ready to get down. And different part of the broads than normal. Thank you this is uh, Broad, broad Ambition, Pitcher. and uh, we're just coming up to Hickling Broad, which I'll show you in a moment. So, this is uh, coming into Higham Sound and then on to uh, Hickling Broad, part of the broads that's not often seen by even many privateers that own higher boats. If you've got a boat that doesn't feel under Pot Iron Bridge, it's of course a good idea to hire a day boat and then you'll be able to experience up here yourselves. Um, they're about £15 an hour our season, and there's quite a selection you could have Herbert Woods or Phoenix Fleet or May Craft. Sorry about the wind on the camera, as ever, the microphone's picking up very sensitively.
echoes in my head Make every whisper turn into a scream I dream like Paul Fenders. So you join me here on the Riverviewer, back on board Brinks Omega. We've uh, just left Potter Iam and the River Thurn. We're heading shortly past uh, St Bennett's Abbey. Gives you an idea where we are. But it's been a day full of good surprises and great times. Um, out of the blue, um, we went under Pot Iron Bridge on board Broad Ambition. Went up to Hickling Broad, turned round and came back through again. And um, now we're all sort of split up doing our own things and so we're heading, not quite sure, but towards sort of Horning Way uh, tonight. The time now is quarter past three in the afternoon so um, we're going to be heading as far as we can, pretty mooring up about sort of half four, five o'clock time. And then tomorrow it will be into Roxham to drop Sheila off and back home to London on the train and then myself I'll probably have a nice wild mooring tomorrow evening on the river app. So this is um, the typical kind of thing you used to see, the old blankets come out to play. My feet is freezing, oh, <laughs> one to my feet is stinky now. Right, I'm sure that the internet's needed to know that. So stinky feet for her. And this is where we are. We're on the river ramp here and uh, our overnight destination, instead of being down on the river viewer, we've come up the Ant and we're going to more opposite Turf Fen, we're Turf Fen Mill, which is basically where Howe Hill, the moorings are for, for Howe Hill. So um, the time now, as you can see, is just uh, 20 minutes past four and um, it gets dark around about 20 to half past five. So. You know, we haven't rushed anything, we're just gently cruising up the river. We filled up with water at Ludden Bridge um, just before, so that's uh, all sorted that out. Um, the oven has just been put on because we're going to be having a nice dinner on board tonight. So, we're having garlic and herb chicken with um, possibly mashed potatoes and vegetables to see of yours truly um, so yes that's what's happening and it is just absolutely gorgeous um, evening although it's a bit hazy it's uh, it's virtually clear and uh, a bit nippy outside but really for March you cannot complain it has been an absolutely lovely day and we've fitted in a whole bunch of different things. We sliced off uh, this morning at Acle, and then from Acle Bridge we went down to uh, the River Thurn, down to Potter Hyam, under Potter Hyam Bridge, obviously not with this boat, but on Broad Ambition, up to Hickling, turned around, come back again. Um, the last time I actually went up there on an actual Broad's boat, rather than a day launch, was 1992. And I think the last time I went on a day boat was probably 2012. So, um, significant period of time before I've been up on Hickling Broad. And then uh, we left there and we've now come here to the River End. And we're just literally two bends away and we'll be at a mooring opposite Turf Bend Mill. So, um, really good day. And um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully it will be as nice as today weather wise. So, we've just had a little walk along here as the sun is setting down to uh, Toad Cottage which is shut um, until Easter, it's open from Easter till October and it really is a very lovely 
place to come and moor your boat here, especially this time of year when there's uh, no one about. It's nice to come for a nice little walk. If you've got dogs, uh, it's a good safe place for them to go and have a run around, etc. And this is his dog. <laughs> Am I your dog? Think Keep so. your bitches under control. But <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, um, yeah, anyway, it's a great place and um, it's going to be our mooring for this evening. I'm going to be cooking on board. And um, behind us there is the actual place where this gets its name from, How Hill. Um, and I'll just show you over the other way the sun as it's setting and turf and wind pump. So there is turf and water pump or wind pump pumps water it doesn't it doesn't anymore but it's it's never been a windmill let's put it like that that deals with uh, making flour and there is the sunset which if I just zoom in really does look very lovely and there is Brinks Omega which has been a really quite comfortable boat um, it's very quiet underway now I've got the hang of things with uh, mooring it's very easy to to come into a mooring, it's very responsive um, the only niggling thing is the, the helm seat being um, in order to be comfortably able to see out of your feet are left dangling and if your feet aren't left dangling then you can't comfortably see out so um, it would just be nice if there was a, a kind of a stool that you could sit at and uh, you know put your feet on a rung of the stool or just be tall and then you wouldn't have to worry if you've got long legs you don't have to worry but that ends day four of the captain's blog so tomorrow it will be a simple cruise down to Ludden Bridge and then Sheila will be off to Wroxham and then I'll be on the water on my own again. If you have been, thanks for watching.